Willkommen bei Benny und Steve. Mein Name ist Steve und wir spielen heute The Raven für euch. Let's go in. The Raven. Ephraim, a man burdened by grief after the loss of his beloved Lenore. Drawn his sorrows in alcohol as an escape. But one day, while pursuing a mysterious book of forgotten science, he is interrupted by the visit of a majestic raven. November 1854 In the stillness of the night. Oh, Alter. <laughs> If I have lost my beloved, my sweet Leonore, and her tombs rest her motionless and cold beauty, and my soul is left alone in the deepest agony. How to move forward without her warm embrace? How to find light amidst this twilight's trace? For her smile and her love were my sole reasons to be. And now her absence make me long to fade and flee. Yet I shall carry on through my heart the tears with seeking solace and the memories of our loves remain. For through my beloved has gone far away. Her love shall live forever in my shattered heart's array. Let that not be the end of our true love's accord, but the beginning of an eternity together in a sense of world, while he on earth darkness fails me with its chilling shade. Our light shall keep shining on my love, so like a crimson blade, and as I wait in a moment to be with you in eternal space, your memory shall stay alive in my heart, my diving grace. Das ist Edgar Allen Poe mäßig. Ich hoffe, ich kann das alles schnell genug lesen. Oh. Dezember 1854. Is this real? I cannot escape this pain. Time has halted. How can I carry on? Why can't I remember and really think clearly? Why I do only have these blurry and fragmented images? Where are you, my love? Come back, I beseech. How can I move forward without you? How can I find purpose in life after losing you? Leonor! Das geht's wirklich nicht gut. Ah, schön halb bis offen lesen. Das tut, ach du Schande, Alter. Okay. De presiagidies demon, demonum. Christianity embrace an unwaving fate where philosophers like Aristotle and uh, parentates strive to unfold Alter, das ist keine geile Art Text zu lesen hier Conflicting opinions about the nature of things However, I cannot endorse any of the theories about demons put forward by Plato, Porphyry, Platinius, Jamblichius and other who thought that we have written exactly about the demons, have created more fantasies than realities. Therefore, I cannot subscribe to their view even though 
they have been supported by learned man. As a result, a worship, the almighty God, the architect of the universe, who before creating this admirably adorned world with the order of wondrous spirits, had created these incorporeal beings, as testified by the divine messengers sent to us through Moses for a long time. In the deep of the night, when shadows lengthen and fears lurks, the stories come to life. A firmly belief in the accounts told by those who spoke with God through the words of ancient sacred texts. It was a time of benevolent beings who, from the heights of godness, ruled over all the existed. There were intelligent beings, for without physical form, in tune with the divine nature, limited yet confirmed to it. God created and carried for them, so they in turn wouldn't worship and adore him. He bestowed upon them outstanding intelligence, magnificence, consciousness, and eternal knowledge. Their souls shone like rays of divine light. Emanating from the through from the from the true source of eternal fate. What does all that mean? I fail to comprehend this tome. It's strange and haunting pages uncurtainly within me. Drinking wine does little to sow the growing unease. Time passes in my interners. The book radiates. Despite then, I must. Who the fuck is this? A loud knocking on my door, startling me, making book fall from my... I try to silence the increased pounding of my heart to not avail. Who could it be at the hours of the night? Oh, jetzt, jetzt haben wir die Steuerung. Ich tippe auf Lieferando. So, kann natürlich sein. Oh, Moonwalker natürlich zur Tür, wie es sich gehört. Oh, nee. Finsterste Panzersteuerung. Pardon, fair lady, uh, noble sir. I beseech your pardon from... I must confess, slumber overcome me and I did not perceive your knocks at my door. Huh? Hesitate, I open the door only to find a dark and cold hallway. Leonor! I murmur the echo return and my chilling whisper. Is it a dream or an endless nightmare? Es ist echt schade, ich äh, würde den gerne viel, viel Englischer sprechen, aber äh, die Texte sind viel zu schnell dafür, leider irgendwie. Das ist echt äh, schade. Kann ich die irgendwie langsamer einstellen? Nee. Leider nicht. Oh! Was ist das? What was that? Couldn't have been just the wind? No. It can't be the wind. The thought must to clear. Someone has knocked on my window. Also das Ding da hinten in der Ecke finde ich schon ziemlich unheimlich hier. Zylinder auf die ganze Zeit. Das ist natürlich geil. So alleine zu Hause, aber Zylinder auf. Ja, man muss so mal Stil haben. I completed the young fort in blackness of a long while. The wind holds fiercely and cold also precise. Precise of the half the. Only the wind and nothing more. I thought still doubtful of my own sanity. While Lucitans close the window and decide to return to my chair. Aber voll. Ah! My goodness. 
What was that? Without a trace of reverence, Donnu's bird of your burst into the room. It perched upon the bust of Pallas, motionless like a statue. I regained comparison and the role of a host approach even with our crest maint and service are though not caught. O oh, raven or horrible aspect that wanders from night's Plutian shore. Tell me what is the lolly from night's Pluton Alter ist das schnell. <laughs> Quote the raven nevermore. I was perceptive by the unheard of eloquence of the immense bird of yore. <laughs> However, at Volker Evertate, uh, Elevate response led me somewhat indifferent. Has any living being had the privilege of witness such an act? Bird or beast, who set up a sculpted boost of palace with such discreeting name? Nevermore. Leute, tut mir wirklich leid. <laughs> I observed the bird from a while, barely whispering. I turn. I. <laughs> Our friends have forsaken me before tomorrow. I shall just as my hope have done. Call the raven. Nevermore. Surely, what it says is all it knows. A single repertoire of words learned from some wretched master. One that must have erased relentlessly until its dirge bore only a meaning. Until the chance of a hope carried that melancholy burden off. Nevermore. However, the presence of the ebony bird drew a smile upon my face. Did God grant me this moment to forget even if briefly the absence of my beloved? Whatever the reason may be, I must displace my chair for a better view of the raven. Ja, sorry, Leute. Ich würde es wirklich viel, 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 viel ordentlicher lesen. Irgendwie, ich möchte ja nicht. Ich hab, also, das, 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 ich, ich kann mich nur entschuldigen. Ich kann mich nur entschuldigen. Proceed upon the boss of Ballas, the bird who I seems like burning amber spirit into the depths of my soul. We were on fantasy after another. I found myself sketching the raven on the page of my diary. In that moment the atmosphere seems to grow denser, infused with an invisible sense of steps of seraphs so sound, resounded a compared floor. Wrenched! Oh. <laughs> oh god, has granted a respite through these angels? A respite of Nathan from the, your memories of Leonor? Heston, oh Heston, the sweet Nathan, or oh, forget the absent, quote the raven. Nevermore. Prophet, thing of evil, either bird of devil, or ever sent by the tempter. I'll cast upon his haunted refuge, uh, refuge by the storm. Prophet, tell me, I beseech you, is there balm in Gilead? Quote the raven. Nevermore. Prophet, thing of evil, Weave a bird or devil by the firmament stretching about her head. By that god we both adore. Tell the sorrow laden soul if an instead Eden the weary soul shall find its beloved. If the weary soul shall find the beloved from angel called Leonor. Quote the raven. Nevermore. Be that word or sign or painting, parting, bird or friend, find. <laughs> Fly back into the tempest, to the night Plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as the token of the lies your spirit has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quite a boost, uh, the burst above my door. Take their beak from out my heart and take their form from out of irgendwas. 
Colter Raven, never more. And the raven never flitting, still is sitting. Still is sitting on the pallid boost of palace. On the door frame of my room. Its eyes have the appearance of the meditating demon. Its shadows stretch across the carpet floor on my soul. Deep within that shadows remain imprisoned, unable to break free. Nevermore. Never. The End. Ihr Lieben, das war äh, Benny und Steve's lustige Lesestunde mit Edgar Allan Poe's Der Rabe. <lacht> Schön. Ähm, wie gesagt, es tut mir leid, dass ich hier leider etwas äh, durchgestolpert bin durch die Texte. Ähm, wer sich nochmal in Ruhe anschauen möchte, irgendwie. Wir haben den Link des Spiels unten immer in der Videobeschreibung drin. Ihr könnt es euch tatsächlich kostenlos bei Itchy runterladen. Gebt es euch selber nochmal. Oder ihr macht Pause beim Lesen oder so. Oder vielleicht habt ihr das eh besser gelesen. Oder wie auch immer. What else? Ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Wenn ja, würde ich mich sehr darüber freuen, wenn ihr einen Daumen nach oben da lasst. Irgendwie schreibt es in die Kommentare. Und äh, auch falls es euch nicht gefallen haben sollte, schreibt es uns auch. Konstruktive Kritik ist ja immer gerne gesehen. Und bis dahin wünsche ich euch noch einen schönen Abend. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Projekt wieder. Und in dem Falle sage ich nur noch Nevermore.